Hi folks and welcome back to the channel. Here we are again on Fraser Island, Kigari. And what a different day today is than yesterday. We're going back past the Mahino as we head towards Eli Creek and the crowds are here already compared to when we were here yesterday. There's even an airplane after landing here to look at it. Come on with us, we go down to Eli. But look, there's not that much to see on low tide compared to high tide at the Mahino. A few more bits and pieces out in the lower level of the sand, but that's it. Just bits. They were, yeah, they, they kind of have to. They, they were starting to more out. Here we are at Eli Creek. A nice fresh water stream, probably one of the largest on the island that flow into the sea. Even though the temperature is not excessively hot, it's still nice and refreshing to get in here. Now, this is Indian Head. The last time we were here, the sand was very soft and there was a massive bump or dip, one or the other, near the end. So this time we're going to go through with a little bit more pace to try to avoid getting stuck and try to figure out where that bump was, which is luck. As you can see, there's lots of people set up for fishing already this morning. It's a good spot to do it and fair bedroom. I hope they catch stuff. Here we are heading down to the Champagne Pools on our last journey to Fraser Island. When we came this far, the place was absolutely heaving with the amount of people that were here that we gave it a skip. Now this time the weather is a little bit rougher than before, 
so there's no one here by ourselves. But if you can swim in the whole place, mm -hmm. you can swim here. It's lovely. Yes, the water did feel a bit cold as it splashed up on us. Now we head over to the west side of the island. This will be our first time getting to the west side of the island. We hear the beaches over there are as nice as Sandy Cave. Here we are on the west side of the island in Watumba Creek. It is a beautiful spot. However, I still think Sandy Cape has it at number one spot. This is definitely a close number two. And for the season that's in it, mince pie and custard. Merry Christmas.
here we are approaching Nagala Rocks. The last time we were here we had so much fun. It was unbelievable. Has to be one of the best little tracks in the world anywhere. As we approach we see a few vehicles parked up. We're gonna stop and go up and take a look. See what's going on. As it turns out, there is a convoy of eight vehicles. Uh, one of them has the transmission broken up at the far side of the gala and the one's been through. Off road we'll to the gala rocks. As we find a lovely spot to set up camp just south of the gala rocks, we have another visitor to camp. Look at this place, it's amazing. A fantastic spot for a bit of fishing in a few minutes. Not exactly dinner, but hey, go back in and try again. And this is our campsite for tonight. Beautiful spot, beautiful views. And folks, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a like, a subscribe, thumbs up, whatever you want, even throw some comments. In. And join us again on our next adventure. Thank you and goodbye.